It's time for a brain game. If we haven't met, my name is Gilan Gork and I'm a mentalist. And we're gonna try a little experiment right now. I want you to hear these two women's voices and decide which one would you be more likely to give your vote. I hope I have your vote on Tuesday. I hope I have your vote on Tuesday. Now, let's listen to these two male political candidates. I hope I have your vote on Tuesday. I hope I have your vote on Tuesday. Who would you choose? Now, in both cases, chances are you chose the candidate who had the lower voice. That's because our brains tend to perceive people with a lower voice as being more competent. Now, this isn't just some airy, fairy, weird theory. Actual research has shown, for example, in the 2012 US congressional elections, research found that the candidates who had a lower voice had a 13% higher chance of getting the vote. And that's an enormous competitive advantage when you consider that every single vote counts. Find more brain games just like this by tuning into National Geographic at 7 p.m. every Friday night on Channel 181.